Goldilocks and the Three Water Bears. Once upon a time, in late fall 2015, Goldilocks unknowingly stumbled across a scientific debate taking place in the home of the Three Water Bears. Goldie had always wondered how her friends, the water bears, were able to survive extreme conditions, be it total dehydration or exposure to toxic chemicals, radiation, or the vacuum of space. And it seems scientists were curious too. So several scientists set out to sequence the genome of the water bear, as perhaps its DNA held the answer to this question of extreme survival. The water bear genome, as sequenced by the first group, was far too hot. At 212.3 megabases in length and with nearly one-sixth of the genome attributed to lateral gene transfer, the size of the genome was much larger and the amount of non-tardigrade DNA was far greater than was expected. Although the water bear genome as sequenced by the second group was more correct in size, at 135 megabases, it was far too cold. Only 1-2% to of the genome was attributed to lateral gene transfer as only older functional lateral gene transfer events were taken into account. So which amount of lateral gene transfer in the water bear genome is just right? The answer can be found in the approach. Genome sequencing is an act of discovery, and questions can be large and unfocused. To answer the specific question in this case, how much lateral gene transfer is there in the water bear genome, a hypothesis must be generated based on this question, and the experiment must be designed to specifically test this hypothesis. Yum! The current just right amount seems to have come from a third group, as the water bear genome was sequenced with the question of lateral gene transfer in mind. Finding 4.47% of the water bear genome attributed to lateral gene transfer seems to be just right. While it was deliciously fun to learn about lateral gene transfer, it doesn't answer my question about how the water bear family can survive extreme conditions, declared Goldie. Hmm, I wonder what the rotifer family is up to. This ebook is a production of the Julie Dunning Hotop Lab at the Institute for Genome Science at the University of Maryland School of Medicine.